Well, here we are back on the Predator with an update on the proceedings. And as you can see, the gearbox is gone, tail shafts, all the drive, everything's been cleaned out of it. And uh, yeah, moving on to bigger and better things. So, dried a CV joint, a couple of lots of tail shafts, jack shaft with the chain and sprockets on it. But uh, those U drive gearboxes just aren't that successful, I don't reckon. And uh, there's no way you can do any more than that two and a half thousand revs with it. Now I reckon that somebody's in days gone by has taken the V-Drive out of this boat and put that U-Drive gearbox in it because uh, obviously at one stage it was a race boat, a ski race or whatever, but uh, it had the uh, hot motor taken out of it and uh, turned into a ski boat again. So, I mean, most ski boats probably only do about two and a half thousand revs anyway but that's about all that was capable of with the tail shaft and everything it had in it so <clears throat> we're in the process of uh doing something bigger and better now i've actually got a piece of aluminium plate that i'm going to make another bracket to hold that uh, v-drive in i mean over the years that one there's got more holes in it than a block of swiss cheese so Figured uh, it's time to get a new one. Plus, it's got a couple of cracks in it. The holes for the V drive are right up on the top of it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'll uh, cut another plate out of that, that piece of aluminium there and uh, re drill it. And uh, yeah, put a new one in it. So, there's the V drive and uh, of course, can't leave things like they are, so I'm in the process of polishing that up. That's with 180 grit. Die ground with the uh, sanding drums, like that, just to get the cast marks off it and everything smoothed up, and then get into it with the sandpaper and start polishing. That's uh, what it looked like to start with, just cast aluminium and that's getting there well still a long way to go yet but uh that's 180 then i'll go 240 320 400 up to a 600 maybe 800 and then polish it so uh some of that aluminium stuff i have actually gone up to 2000 in different stages but that's uh, that's where we're at at the moment with the uh, with the Predator. So that gearbox got pretty cheap because it had uh, didn't need a new bearing. So and it's got a warm up clutch on it. So I'll get rid of the bell housing and the clutch on the back of the motor and just use this one. So that will decrease the angle of the tail shaft even more because it hasn't got that. Uh, pressure plate and everything on it so but yeah that's a 14% step up so the other gearbox I had was a 10% and uh, yeah it'll be just that little bit more so anyway that's a bit of an update on what's happening for anybody that's interested but yeah this is a this is a tedious job this one getting in there in all the corners you know I've even tried to get around the uh, the lettering on it and uh, clean that up. But anyway, we'll get there. Just a matter of persisting, and uh, in the end, you get the result what you want, and makes it all worthwhile. So, but anyway, that's the uh, that's the story at the moment. <clears throat>